Hi, you crafty folks. Amy here with Amy's Wares, and today I have a unique love card to share with you, plus a bonus card, so be sure to stick around to the end. Now, I acquired this die um, in my stash at some point. I'm just now getting around to using it. I have no idea if it's still available. If I can find it, I will link it below with the other products, but I encourage you to kind of just apply these principles to whatever you have in your crafty stash. I'm sure you have something that will work for this sort of two for technique. Now here's a photo of the first finished card, but like I said, do stick around and I will show you a bonus card at the end. So I'm flipping through my former chocolate box full of background panels. Um, these are all panels that I've made at some point. Some are several years old, various different techniques, um, all sorts of different things that just haven't been turned into cards yet. So I'm sure you have something similar, some sort of receptacle holding panels that you haven't used yet. Um, but I have pretty much all the techniques you can imagine and I'm just flipping through to see which one might work with that really cool die uh, from my stash. So flipping through, um, ultimately I do end up finding, as you saw, um, I believe it was heat embossed with a triangle background stamp from Simon Says Stamp, which sadly I don't think that background stamp is available anymore. Yeah, there's the purple one. And then that gorgeous variation in color was done with Nouveau Shimmer Powder. So you guys know I love that stuff. It feels like sorcery. Um, that's definitely available. I'll be sure to link that. But I'm pretty sure this triangle uh, stamp sadly is no more. And it was just embossed with probably white Brutus Monroe embossing powder. Now I have my pokey tool, which works a treat to poke out all of these little dots from this really cool um, die set. If that rectangle die is available, I will link that. Uh, one of my followers was gracious enough to send me that, super cool. And my friend Judy makes that awesome pokey tool, just using my little handheld hoover to get up all those little pieces parts. I recommend having one of those in your craft room if you don't already, because it's really convenient when you have 8,000 little confetti dots all over your work surface. Um, but basically I'm just lining this up in the center. I'm gonna run it through. Sorry about my uh, Fraggle Rock hair. I love when Laura Basson said that once and it just stuck with me, it was hilarious. She's so funny. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna poke out these little letters and keep those and wink, wink, you'll see why in a moment. But I'm figuring out how I wanna get that to be dramatic and I realized the black looks really nice so ultimately I'm gonna cut down a black panel um, to be just a tiny border and also to help that love die cut pop. Now here I just grabbed the first box I could find. This snarky one is full of sentiments but I really just need the word you. So I'm gonna actually do some surgery on this little simple strip. These are all boxes of simple strips from Tailored Expressions. I love the storage boxes, they're absolutely brilliant. I also use them for other sort of similar uh, sentiment strips from other stamp companies, but I found one in purple with black stamping, it was perfect, and I want it to say love you. So ultimately I'm just gonna pop that up with a little thin foam strip, um, just to kind of give that some dimension on the front of the card and to kind of finish the sentiment here. So I have these strips, I can't remember where I got these from, I think, they're either Scrapbook or Simon. They're really kind of thicker than my other ones that I use from Amazon. They stand up higher. So there's quite a bit of dimension on this one. You could absolutely just liquid glue it down flat if you're worried about making it bulky. Um, but ultimately, I'm just going to bring in some card bling here. This is all card bling from A Colorful Life Designs. If you aren't familiar, it's a small woman-owned business in Texas. She manufactures her own stencils. They're brilliant. They're gorgeous. But she also sells over 100 colors of this gorgeous card bling. These are flat back sequins without the holes in them. They're all different sizes, which I absolutely love. And I ended up going with this gorgeous wisteria color. So I will link that below, but if you shop for anything there at A Colorful Life Designs, be sure to use my coupon AMYFAN10 at checkout and you'll save on your complete order. So stick around just one moment. I'm gonna show you the bonus card that I was able to make with the residual pieces parts from this love die cut. But here's this finished card. I'm so pleased with how it turns out. Hopefully my friend that I made this for has received it by the time she's watching this video. Uh, here's the bonus card. So I used 
uh, just a white piece of die cut cardstock with a 3D embossing folder, some gray cardstock to back the letters, and there you go. So thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.